Hi, welcome to Battleship Cove and Inside the History. I'm Tom Lowney, Gunner's Mate Retired First Class, and we're here today to talk about periscopes. Periscopes on a battleship. As you can see, lionfish is what you commonly think of periscopes for, submarines. But believe it or not, battleships have more periscopes than a submarine. So I just wanted to give you a look at it. That's our periscope here. We've got two of them up there right now. We'll go in depth on another episode, but we're going to be talking about periscopes on a battleship. All right, now that we've come over here to the Battleship Massachusetts, you'd be surprised how many periscopes are actually on board a battleship. And it's not just the gunnery, it's the engineering as well. And we'll explain that here as we go through. But again, battleship has more periscopes than a submarine. So let's go find out about that. Come on. All right, we're up here now to take a look at what you would not normally think would be periscopes on a ship. And that would be the ship's stack. Now, the battleship Massachusetts has eight boilers, two per engine. So you have two periscopes per boiler because you can burn fuel differently on each side of the boiler. So you want to be aware of that because what would be the problem is that a battleship is a warship trying to be stealthy. So if you're out over the horizon and you're dumping and you're burning either too rich or too lean and you're generating smoke, it can be seen for miles. So it's a dead giveaway. So you need the periscopes to watch how you burn your fuel the most efficient way. So it also will work if you want to do a smoke screen. You could actually change your mix so you're dumping smoke and providing a smoke screen to protect ships in close combat, sort of like what happened in the Battle of Samara with the Japanese. That option is there. So in order to do that, each boiler had its set of periscopes. So we're going to go down and take a look at the boilers and see that, and you can see where the periscopes are. Right now they're covered up because the stack is enclosed, but the periscopes should be inside the stack area because you wouldn't have them on the outside. You'd have them on the inside. So we'll go down to the engine room and take a look at it. Welcome back down to the engine room here at Battleship Cove. This is the first engineering room. The engine room here is a combined design, different from the Iowas. The Iowas had their engine rooms separate and the boiler rooms separate. On here, it's a combined design offset on each side of the ship for the shaft placement. So your two boilers are set up here fore and aft. So each engine room, B1, B2, B3, B4, all have two boilers, the reduction gear as essentials. And then you have steam turbine generators. But they burn fuel to generate steam. So they can be operated. So down here, each boiler, as you can see, have periscopes. Again, this is so the black gang down here as they were called, could monitor what they were burning and how they were burning it. So if you're burning too rich, you have to mix in more air or more fuel, depending on what you want to do. As we said, for making smoke, so that way to provide a screen for the fleet, you could actually burn excess fuel and black smoke to screen the ships. You could add it to smoke generators, which they did have. Normally destroyers would do that, but these ships could as well. So as you can see, one, two, three, four periscopes, two per boiler. So if you had on board eight boilers with two periscopes each, you have 16 periscopes. So we're looking at just the engine room itself having 16 periscopes. Fundamentally simplistic, they, they can't be adjusted, they can't be tweaked, they're simple basic periscopes. So yes, they did have them and they were down here. All right, another amazing thing that each one of these five inch mounts behind me had its own periscope. These were taken out in the 46 overhaul after the war and the mount captain hoods were installed so that way it was a different optic setup. You had it visually outside the mount. During the war, you can see in the picture where the periscope was. Now this periscope was for observation. 
for the gun captain. So if he had to fire in local control, he could do what's called a check sight. He couldn't do an actual range verification because it's not stereoscopic, but he could observe the fires and call for corrections for spotting. So if we had to go local, we'd lose the directors. We're in battle, you can switch to local control and fire. So the mount captain had that. He did it from inside the mount. So it doesn't show it in the five inch mount, but each five inch mount had a periscope. So that's 10 periscopes all together there. So we'll go inside and we'll show you where it was inside the five inch mount. Okay, here we are again. This is another point that we wanted to go out with the five inch mount, as you saw from the drawings, and the inside of it here was had to be sealed. This is two inches of armor around us. So to protect it and keep it during a firefight and keep the gunner from having to stick his head out the hatch, he actually had a periscope. So if you look up here, you can see the round welded circle. In 46, when they upgraded all the gun mounts, they took out the periscopes and they put in a hand director. And it's the base of it next to it. So that way the gun captain would go outside the mount and he had an armored protected shield from shrapnel. It's called a gun hood for the mount captain. But that's where the periscope used to be, so that way he didn't have to stick his head out. But battleship conflicts by the end of the war was a far and few thing to be seen. And America was the last battleships uh, operating all the way up to Vietnam. <clears throat> so that's what you have in the five inch mount. One periscope each in 45 and in 46 it changed. Thank you for watching part one of our periscope series. When we come back, we'll be in the engine room here, and we'll give you full detail information on periscopes in an engine room. I'd like to thank you for taking your time viewing. Remember to like, share, subscribe. It helps us here, and we'll come back to you with part two of Periscopes on a Battleship. So thank you for your time. I'm GM1 Tom Lowney, U.S. Navy retired. Hope to see you in the next part. Take care.